I first got interested in pottery because my first summer job was down in Weston at the uh, grist mill. Um, there was a little craft shop and there was a potter who came to give a demonstration and I was fascinated. It was, he was pretty charismatic. He was from Quiche. His name was Armand Hino. And I was, I just, I got to watch his pottery wheel while he went out to lunch. And somehow or other, the spirit of pottery making entered me. Just working with clay, it's, it's, well, my parents were very into gardening. I, as a child, I detested gardening. I hated hoeing the garden, but I loved being close to the earth and, and clay is the earth. And I, I just feel very, very connected to my roots and the earth and my family, just working with clay. I spent a year and a half as an apprentice in Japan in several different potteries in the early 70s. And I feel like my work is very informed by what I learned about work habits and, and just making pottery. And I lived in several different pottery villages, which, which me, it's kind of unimaginable to us as, to us living here. But in Japan um, and many other traditional cultures all over the world, there's, there are whole villages where everybody in the whole town is involved with making pottery. Some people dig the clay. Some, it's not even people, it's some families. Some families are clay digging families. Other families build kilns. Um, other people throw the pots. Other people glaze them. It's, it's like that's just what the whole village does. There's a lot of muscle memory and your mind is just free to wander off wherever it wants to go. It's, it's um, quote unquote, a very centering experience. And that got me really hooked. When I started making pottery originally as a college student, I was really mesmerized by the potter's wheel itself. It was uh, like, a, I almost, it was kind of a spiritual revelation for me, I would even say. Um, it's it's that whole kind of Zen thing of zoning in and zoning out and the wheel goes around and around and you just kind of your your mind is at rest and your hands are working and that's something that becomes even more pronounced as an experience after you gain more technical skill because it's virtually effortless. And then in the early 70s, uh, with the Back to the Land movement and whatnot, I got very, very um, interested in making pottery as an expression of being close to the earth and back to the land and do it yourself and that whole, that kind of whole spirit of the 60s and 70s. And my dream was to have a family pottery. It's amazingly enough, it actually came true um, eventually here in Andover where I grew up. My husband, John, who's actually a fiddle player, well, both of us, when we met in our late 20s, it seemed like we were in a contest to see who could get, a, get the least practical idea for what they were gonna do with their lives. And um, the only thing I ever came across that was, that was less practical than pottery making, I guess, was fiddle playing. So um, as the years went by and we had two children, um, we decided we needed to build a house and John got drafted into pottery making. And, and so that was the, so first it was kind of like a spiritual experience. The next phase of my pottery making was, um, I would say an expression of trying to 
be connected with the earth and um, like the most primitive kinds of tools and equipment and techniques. And then the next phase was all of a sudden we were adults and we decided we needed to make a business of our work, otherwise we wouldn't be able to do it anymore. <laughs> so John helped me. Um, he started taking over a lot of the parts of the pottery making process that I was not so enthralled with, like cleaning up and dipping things in glaze. And, and also he started to design sponges for me because it turned out that um, when I decided that we needed to earn some money in life, well, originally when I first started making pottery, I would have been horrified at the idea of polluting my perfect, pure art with money. Like, I just thought that would be the ultimate degradation of my pottery to, to sell it. But I, I was young and I did grow up and um, instead of going and getting a real job, we kind of transformed my passion into a business. And, and we were, we've been quite successful actually. Uh, during the 80s, we worked like crazy and um, we shipped pottery all over the country. We went to a lot of craft fairs and it did take the two of us working night and day uh, to make up for our 20s when we were just kind of following our passions. And, and we made it into a business, but lo and behold, I actually still really enjoy making pottery. Sometimes people ask me, well, what's, what's your favorite piece you ever made or what do you like the best? And I have a slightly strange answer. I still enjoy the process so much. And my favorite, um, like when I think my pots are the most beautiful is when they're still wet and glistening right off the wheel. And then the other thing I would say is the pots that I like the best are quite crude and fairly primitive and that's why I use this red earthenware clay because it's it's um, kind of conducive to that to that aesthetic. And what I really like is pots that have been used and the longer and and that that have become old. And it's pretty wonderful to have been making pottery for 50 years and to be able to look at pots that I made a long time ago and, and <laughs> they're almost antiques. Um, I mean, it's kind of silly, but like th these are, these flower pots over here, I just rescued out of the bushes. Um, I made them years ago, and and I just really like them. There's something great about them. I feel like I am very influenced by the seasons and 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 the and the weather. In the winter, when I'm working, um, sometimes my pots will actually freeze. <laughs> I no longer dig my own clay, but I, I, um, I was into a phase a few years ago where I would just kind of go down to the stream down the road and, and get rocks and knead them into the clay, which is a little insane. But, but um, I just really like this. I'm so proud that I made it. It just looks like a really old flower pot. <laughs>